With the release of Gemini, Google Workspace users now have access to AI built directly inside their favorite Google apps. Now, today in particular, I'm going to look at and share how you can leverage AI to improve the way that you use Google Sheets. Okay, now just quickly, before we go ahead and launch into this brief tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel. Okay, so with that covered, let's go ahead and leverage AI inside Google Sheets. Okay, so before we dive into Google Sheets AI, we first need to enable Gemini inside our Workspace account. Go ahead and log into your admin account. Once you've arrived inside your Google admin account, simply navigate over to the left hand side and click on Get More Services, which you'll find under Billing. Then you just need to upgrade to the Gemini for Google Workspace solution, which is an add-on. This add-on is a monthly subscription, which will give you access to all of Gemini's features. Now you also get access to a 14 day trial so that you can test out Gemini to see if it works for you. Now, if you're completely new to Gemini for Google Workspace, what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description, which will dive deeper into how you can access Gemini inside your favorite Google apps. So go ahead and check out that. Today, we'll just be focusing on Gemini inside Google Sheets. Okay, so as you can see, I've opened up a fresh Google Sheet. Now to leverage AI inside Google Sheets, simply navigate up to insert and then locate help me organize. And over on the right hand side, you'll see an area where we can add a prompt to generate a template for our Google Sheet. For example, let's go ahead and click here and I'm going to add a prompt for creating a template for a web design project. As you can see for this example, I've quickly gone ahead and added create a web design project template that includes tasks, subtasks, status and due date. Now this help me organize AI feature built inside Google Sheets will soon be able to accurately edit and analyze content in your spreadsheet. For now, let's go ahead and generate this template. And as you can see, Gemini has gone ahead and created this template. We have a project column as well as task, subtask, status, due date, and notes. If we navigate down, you can see that this table, this template is currently in preview. If we click anywhere, you'll see this option to insert or discard the preview. If you're happy with this template and you wanna start customizing the template further, simply come down and click on insert. However, for now, I'm going to close this and then delete this template. And I actually want to change this prompt slightly. I just wanna create this template for one client. So I'm going to navigate over to template and add for one client only. So now my prompt reads, create a web design project template for one client only that includes tasks, subtasks, status and due date. Okay, so let's see what Gemini will generate if we go ahead and click on create. And as you can see, this is the template that has been generated. You can see the content that has been generated. Under project, we have all of the same content, redesign of company website. Then we have different tasks down here as well as subtasks and different status options, due date, and then notes over here. This time I'm going to remove subtasks and add a tick box. So rather than adding subtasks, I want to add a tick box. Let's go ahead and see what this creates. Hey guys, just quickly before we get back to this video, I just want to mention my Sheetify CRM, an all-in-one business toolkit and CRM built with Google Sheets and designed for Google users. You can simply manage leads, customers, tasks, engage in email marketing, manage your inventory, tickets, and more. The great part is I've made this Sheetify CRM a one-time payment, no subscriptions, unlimited access, and future updates. If you're interested in learning more, you can find the link to my Sheetify CRM M down below in the description. Okay, so with that covered, let's go ahead and get back to this video. This time you can see we have a task column, description, tick box over here, status, due date, and notes. Okay, so let's come down and click on insert, and let's test out this tick box. Great, so the tick box is working. Under status, let's see what types of statuses we have. We have in progress and not started. Ideally, we want to add completed as well. We can either come down and add our own value if we like, or we can add the different values inside our prompt when generating this template. I'm going to close this and navigate down the page and click here, navigate back up to insert, and then help me organize. And this time I'm just going to add web design project tracker. And let's see what Gemini will create with a simple prompt like this. And as you can see, this simple prompt that we added here has created a more complex template. You can see that this has generated more elements compared to the longer prompt that we added earlier. Again, this is just something you need to play around with. Okay, so I'm gonna click here, come down and click on insert. And we get this option here, add this template to a new sheet. We can either overwrite the existing data. This will overwrite the template that we added earlier, 
or we can add this data to a new sheet. I'm going to click Overwrite Data. As you can see over here we have the project column, then we have status. Let's click on the status value. Again we only have in progress to do. We have priority, high, medium, low. Again we can customize all these elements. Completion, due date, project manager, dev lead, UX lead, QA lead, designer and notes. So essentially you can use this help me organize AI feature to help you generate any kind of template that you're after. Most likely you'll have to make further customizations on that generated template before you can practically use it for your requirements. I'm gonna go ahead and add one more prompt and I'm just going to add budget tracker and see what AI will generate with this simple prompt. Okay, so as you can see, this simple prompt cannot be generated. I'm going to add more details to this prompt, daily budget tracker for students. Let's go ahead and click on create. Okay, so let's have a look at this daily budget tracker for students that Gemini has generated. With the date down here, the category of the item I'm guessing, description, amount, payment method, whether it's a reoccurring expense using a tick box, then we have tags and notes. Again, I would need to put some time in this template to customize it the right way, but you can see that AI has done a pretty good job at generating a template draft. However, that is it for this brief tutorial showing you how you can leverage Google Sheets and Gemini together to improve the way that you use Google Sheets. And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief Google Sheets and Gemini tutorial helping you leverage AI inside Google Sheets. Now if you have any questions about this video make sure to pop them down below and with that said thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value make sure you leave a like and subscribe and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.